I handed P2B Twitter's account, Omokri makes public confession. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Former presidential aide Reno Omokri confessed on Friday that he was the former Twitter handler for Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter Obi. Omokri, who has been fought, fined, and since the former governor of Anambra State dumped the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for LP, said today via his micro-blogging page that he handled Obi's Twitter until July, until July 2022. According to him, Obi had a few real followers when he, Omokri, was handling the page. He alleged that the presidential hopeful now uses bots to get followership on the bird app. Omokri challenged the B and a social media handler to deny the claim, adding that an agent of the indigenous people of Biafra is behind Obi's current followership on Twitter. The People Democratic Party chieftain tweeted, I handed P to Obi's Twitter until we handed it to him in July. We know how many real followers he has. Click on his followers, you see the hundreds of thousands with zero followers and no profile photo. They are bots from the IPOB agent posing as a girl on Twitter. I challenge Peter B and his handlers to deny he is not using bots. We all we have all data from when we created his profile to when we handed it to him in July. All his followers were real. It was after the IPOB agent posing as a girl came in that bots were added. To show you how Peter B used Twitter bots and show farms to fool the public about his online popularity, watch his video with Adiola. YouTube is the only platform where bots and troll farms cannot work. That is why that video does not have a lot of views. Nigerians understand that Omokri is campaigning for the People Democratic Party flag bearer, Atiku Abubakar. Now, at this point in time, permit me to say, Reno, rest now. I thought Reno came out last month to say he's not going to be attacking P2B anytime soon. They apologized. And I'm saying, ah, Reno, that troll for a living. Reno, as in, he makes his living from trolling up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry if I sound offensive, but this is the truth. I mean, you handle his account and bought the follow, his followers are not real. Is that what will make Nigeria or make, is that now the criteria for a good candidate or a credible candidate that is going to make Nigeria better? Come on now. He has followership. He does not have followership. This thing you are saying, other people are also guilty of it. Is that now the, the yardstick we are going to use to measure if he's credible or not? No. So, it's not a criteria for measuring if, you know, he's credible enough, he's competent for the job. No. I think Reno is a PDB chieftain, right? Why don't he focus on marketing his candidates? Why is Reno neck dipped into P2B's business? Sincerely, I don't reason this matter. Go left, go right, go center, go back. You know, I don't see, it doesn't make sense. Peter B is a candidate for Labour Party. Reno Mokri, Reno Mokri is a PDP chieftain. Atiku Abubaka is the candidate for the PDP. Why don't you focus on marketing your candidates than attacking P2B? Why? That is what I'm, okay, let me see what people are saying. If you see what I am saying here, let me read it out so that people will hear. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm very disappointed. I thought you were an airline. This country is in a deep hole and you're talking about Twitter account. Sell your account, sell your market, Atiku, and leave Obi alone. Forget sentiment. Atiku and Tunumbu have run out of ideas. Don't even bring Tunumbu into this so because this is clearly about Reno, who is a PDP chieftain, and uh, Obi. Don't even bring Tunumbu into this one. I beg. <laughs> it does not, it's, not, it's not what we're discussing here. And when Peter Obi decided to run for president, you charged him a hundred million to run his campaign on Twitter. And he told you to go to hell. He told you to go to hell. Ole, Barawo. The young man handling it now is more experienced and competent than you. He has sold Obi more than you can imagine. Obi only had 4,000 followers by July. 
But since the young, young man stepped in, Obi followers are competing with top celebrity followers in terms of numbers. Jealousy will kill you. <laughs> yeah, and this is not even the bone of contention. The bone of contention is what, in, what exactly is Reno's, what in the fine? Why is he neck like dipped into B2B's matter? I mean, not just him alone. Have you people see how Dino Milaye of the People Democratic Party, their spokesman, and Festo Iskanyamo, um, the spokesman for the All Progressives, everybody, everybody is on P2B's matter. Why? You know, I expect this because this is the first time ever P2B is running for presidency. But waiting, why, why can't they sell their candidates? If you listen to Dino Milaye and Festo Iskanyamo on any interview, I did tell you, they will not even sell their candidate for 10. If the, if the interview is about, let's say, 40 minutes or 30 minutes, they will not even sell their candidate for 10 minutes. The rest of everything they will talk about is, Peter B did this one, he's this one, he's not straight, he does not have structure. Ah, ah. Now, wow. And me, I'm saying, these people, they need to go back to take marketing 101 for their class again. I'm telling you. Because, you know, I've always said it that, to market your product, let's say for instance now, to market a product, you must not call your competitor's name. Do you, have you ever seen ever now marketing their soap, calling Lux or Imperial Leather or Dove? It does not work. Why? It is against the rules of marketing. They don't even know how to market their candidate. And sincerely, I support this person. We say, they don't run out of ideas. Why don't focus on what your candidates can do? Because the more you talk about um, P2B, the more publicity he has, the more people get to hear about him. The more people go talk, say, what's in there for this man body? What's in there fine for this man body? Let me now remind you people, in case you have forgotten. In 2014-2015, PDP used this strategy. They came out and they were talking about um, what they call Buhari. Instead of marketing good luck, Bele Jonathan. If you people remember vividly, they were campaigning against Buhari Den, who was in the APC. And because they were campaigning against him and they, they were not even marketing their candidates, problem con day. People were like, why then? What did they find? In fact, make we vote for this man. And that is what led to Buhari coming in. So the earlier they realize <laughs> that campaigning for their person without calling P2B's name is better than you know always looking looking for ways to the market p2b the better for them all. somebody should tell them that they're not doing it the right way in fact maybe they can't employ myself go <laughs> i am going to market the candidate for them in every way possible i'm just joking i'm just joking i don't mean it reno you cannot fool the discerning public anymore he knows he made some wrong move and must live by the misguided choices imposed on himself it is just too bad for his politics. It's on the climb. Okay. All right. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. That's all I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Right